in terms of category uh, categories of uh, ai there are three large categories and there are then sub categories so we are talking of category 1 and category 2 which are largely private equity funds which means that the the theses would would revolve around investing into private companies it's a private arrangement and uh, uh, generally they would not invest into listed space there's another category which is category 3 which will largely focus on listed space but they can do everything what a category 1 and category 2 can do in terms of uh, uh, the areas in which they can invest when we talk of category 1 um, there are three uh there are many but i'm i'm focusing on three large divisions one is a uh, category 1 vcf which is a pooling vehicle uh it works very similar to category 2 which is also a pooling vehicle but the difference between a vcf and a uh, and a category 2 will be the areas in which they can invest and the types of securities that they can invest while sebi has recently opened up category 1 vcf as well for a lot of things and only 75% is uh, ring fenced so you have 25% of the avenue to invest into others there's another category where uh, uh it's called angel fund oxano has an angel fund set up uh, uh largely angel funds are meant to be uh uh for smaller investors but it will have uh um it 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 has a net worth requirement for individuals and companies when they want to invest or agree to invest into an angel fund at the same time uh the concept of angel fund says that the investor gets to agree or not agree when the investment theses are shared for a particular portfolio entity so for example if uh oxano angel fund investment manager wants to invest into portfolio a it will come to all its investors and take an approval giving all the details of the portfolio company and allow the investors to agree to invest so it's a matching concept kind of a uh, fund uh the major difference between a category 1 vcf and an angel fund will be that the contribution minimum contribution commitment required by an investor is 25 lakhs in an angel fund versus 1 crore rupees in any other category of the fund there are some exceptions which we can cover later but largely it is 25 lakhs into an angel fund versus 1 uh, crore in category 1 and category 2 um again a uh, category there is one more category which is recently been floated out by uh, floated by sebi which is called as a special situations fund is largely to take care of the bad assets uh, you know bad loans and what a asset reconstruction company would uh, generally do um, including uh, investing into secondary receipts which are which are floated by rcs so um, it is it has just picked up i would say uh, not talking about it much coming to category 2 it uh, works as a pooling vehicle which will mean that again oxano has a category 2 fund now and um, um talking about category 2 it's a pooling vehicle as i said which means that the money is pooled into the fund and the right to invest into portfolio entities out of that money is completely vested on the investment manager there is no separate approval required from the investors and largely the investors rely on the abilities and the experience of the investment manager to build the portfolio um category 3 i'm not talking about much uh, it is as i said it's a listed space uh, hedge funds long only long short these are the strategies that uh, you know category 3 normally work on 